Hi, this is Mike. I'm going to do a quick uh, video. I'm going to try to combine a couple of things, including just show you how to make a video real quick. This is a Zoom session. I just started it up. It was an old link. Uh, and I just hit record. And now I'm going to hit screen share. And I'm going to share my screen. And then I'm going to do some things on it. Um, another easy idea is just use your phone. You don't have to get, if you want to communicate stuff to your students, you don't have to get really uptight about professional level video quality. Okay, where were we? So I do have kind of an outline. I like to have an outline before I start making things. That way I'm less likely to want to edit it later. If I make a few mistakes, I usually just leave them in because editing takes time. Um, this is really for people who've never used Google Classroom before. I'm just gonna walk you through a couple of basic things. Uh, this document that's got this and some more details in it can be found at tinyurl.com, uh, Mr. T. Goog class, M-R-T-G-G. -G -G. MRT G O O G class one. Um, okay, so the big idea here is um, you want to just treat Google Classroom like it's a big whiteboard or blackboard or whatever you call you, what you write on in your classroom. Um, and it, but the nice part is it's got memory, uh, erasing and copying is really easy. And the only thing that's difficult is there's kind of two different screens you can put things on, and you have to decide which you know, one you want to use. So uh, I'm going to show you what that looks like right now. I'm going to open a new window. And I'm also going to try to keep this to 10 minutes. Uh, I, that's what I usually do with the kids, because that's about all uh, most of our attention spans can handle. OK, so classroom. And I am actually logged in as a different user right now. So I've got to switch over to my school account. Oh, I guess I can do it here. No, I want to switch to my school account. Uh, this is my other Gmail account. OK. Um, I already have a bunch of classrooms. When you first go to classroom, you might just get this and maybe blank if you've never made a Google Classroom before. Uh, the big plus over here is where you can make a new one. And my picture's in the way there, so I'm gonna move it out of the way. Um, and I can either join a class. Uh, one of the things in this document is a class. If you wanna join one of my classes from last year and take a look at it, um, this class code right here, uh, R560ZRT, no. R56 uh, little o ZRT uh, will get you in there. So if you hit join, you could put that code in there and see what my classroom from this past year looks like, uh, including stuff during the closure. Uh, if I was going to create a new class, let's say create a new class. I got to give it a name. Practice. Uh, this doesn't really matter. Hit create, and uh, I have to wait. Do 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 do, and I call it practice some for some reason. And now it's being really slow. Um, probably the first thing you want to notice is the class code over here. So this is what you would give to students to uh, use uh, to log into this. If you try to use this one, it probably won't work because I'll probably destroy this after I'm done. Um, but that's what the students will use. And the students probably already know how to go find that plus and do this. They've done this a ton. They've been doing it in school for the most part. Uh, if you want to change a the theme, you can. If you want to put a photo there, you can. But that's not what we're here for. Okay. First of all, stream is the very first thing. This is kind of like a blog right here. I don't normally use this page uh, because it's not really an assignment. Um, I usually go over to what's called classwork um, and I'm just gonna show you the basics. There may be better ways to use this and it's not how I'm using it. I'm gonna use it the way I use it. Um, I think Steve Wright's gonna make some videos. He does it differently than I do. I think everybody kind of has their own things they like. Okay, so classwork, this is where I post um, usually my daily assignment, which literally may not be anything other than text of what I want the kids to do that day. So uh, to do that, hit create, and I only use this assignment button, or if I'm copying and pasting from a, another section, uh, like I had five geometry sections, so maybe I'd make it once on one page, and then for all the other four sections, I just click reuse post, and I can actually paste them all at the same time, which will be a separate video. Um, I don't use any of these other buttons. I think I can do everything with assignments. So if you want to check those out, you can check those out. There'll be some more things on quizzes in a different video. Um, all right, so once I'm in there, um, I usually give it a title. I put like whatever date that this is the day for. This is just what I do. Uh, I might, I usually actually put what day of the week it is and maybe, you know, what we're doing that day. Um, so we're learning about Google Classroom. And then down in this other part, um, I usually put a lot of stuff. I usually put like what our goals are for the day. Um, I uh, might put any kind of links. 
that I want them to look at. I might put some reminders in there. I this like I said, this is like my virtual uh, whiteboard so that the kids can look at it. But one of the real reasons I really like using Google Classroom even before the closure was uh, when a kid is absent, when they come in, um, and they're like, what did I miss? I'm like, did you look at Google Classroom? Um, because there it is. And a lot of times I'll have students who come in and said, I did everything in Google Classroom. Is there anything else I need to do? And I'm like, no, and we're done. So I used it even then. Um, and I didn't use the computers all the time. I, some, I used, I don't know, maybe 50% of the time I was using, or probably less. But I always put something in Google Classroom every day. And I tried to limit it to one of these, but sometimes it made sense for me to do more than one a day just because of what I was doing. Um, I don't, um, this is where if you could do it for multiple classes, so I could actually assign it to multiple ones right now, but I probably wouldn't do that. I'd probably get it right first, post it to one classroom, make sure it's working, and then post it to the others. I don't normally do grades. This is one thing I'm looking at this year that may be assigning points this way, especially if we're doing it from home. Um, I don't normally give things a due date. This is also something that I'm going to be looking at this year. The advantage of that is if I actually have an assignment here that they have to finish and turn in, um, I can say, okay, this is due on the 18th. And then it, uh, anybody who's connected to this classroom, it will show up in their calendar as like a little sticky, basically. Uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, so this is what mine normally looks like, only much longer. Um, you can add documents you can create. I'm not going to get into that. Um, once again, if all you learn is, oh, I can put anything I want in there, including links from other places, and let me just do that. Let's say I wanted people to be able to get to this document. Um, I could actually just drop that right in there. So there's a link. Okay. And I hit a sign. Oh, also up here, if I'm not done, I could just save it as a draft, um, or I could schedule it for later, or I could you know, sign it. It's the option. All right. So it's out there now. You will notice it also shows up in the stream now. Um, but I, like I said, I use classwork because that's what works for me. There's different reasons why you might use the stream or use a mix of both. Um, there's nobody in this classroom right now. And once again, I don't know much about grades. Um, all right. Let me just double check and see if there's anything else I need to tell you. Probably not. Um, okay. Kind of talked about that. Talked about the reuse post. Uh, there's the idea, and then I get a little activity. So, your job, should you choose to accept it, go to your Google Classroom, uh, create a new classroom, call it Praxis, call it whatever you like. Uh, notice where the class code is. You would eventually give that out. You don't need it today. Create a new assignment or what you might put on your uh, the front of your classroom for that day if you were physically with the students. And then I would suggest creating maybe a second one just to get practice. And then if you want to play around with that, uh, the uh, do button, you could do that. I don't have to, I just, it's nice to do things twice just to kind of remember it. But that's, um, that's probably all you need to know to start. I'm gonna post some other videos that have more information, got some more tricks and things like that. Uh, but that's probably the least that you need to know. Thanks for watching.